Well, what do you expect from Davidson, Scott? Uh, you know, I expect they'll make us guard mm -hmm. a, a lot. They, you know, offensively they're very patient. They, they, you know, are very good at points per possession offensively, and and so you know, and that'll for us that could be a little bit of a problem because we we play a little faster, shoot a little faster, so we're going to spend probably a lot more time on defense than we are offense, and. Um, you know they they have some experience turning out so they they lost a lot but but they yeah. you know they they got some good transfers in there and I think they they they're a little like us trying to figure out exactly who they are probably at the start of the season. Yeah, yeah. When you have a team that you haven't yet played actually in person, and you're just looking at all film and stuff. I guess is there a different type of preparation that goes into it, especially since it's the opener? Or I guess, how do you guys go about a team that you guys actually haven't physically played against yet? Yeah, this is, this is the hardest one probably to prepare for. I mean, you have film from last year and you have an idea uh, of, of what they do, how, how they're going to be coached, but they also have a new coach and, you know, he'll do things differently even though he's been there and they've been successful. They'll, he'll still have some of his own ideas that we won't know about and they have a, they have a lot of new players that they're counting on. And so, uh, it, you know, it, it makes it probably the most difficult scout we have this year. Okay, when you look at, I guess, when you know those first few minutes start in this game, I guess, what would you like to see from the guys kind of early on? Is it just wanting them to get kind of settled into the, you know, the game rhythm, or is it you know sticking to the game plan? I guess, what are some things that you want to keep an eye out for from you know, tip off to the first few minutes of the game at least? Just that they, that we don't overthink things. You know, we, we try not to give them too much information. We'd rather have them react and uh, respond and trying to think things through and figure things out because that, that's when you slow down and so uh, you know we, we give them some information but hopefully it's not too much and we just want them to, to play hard and be on the attack. And then just getting ready for um, the game itself I guess with um, the fact that you guys get to open the season in front of the hometown fans um, does it feel like the kind of the buzz is starting obviously there's been excitement all summer long but um, finally setting and you know this is a couple of days away from the start of the season we get to open up the year in front of everybody here in uh, Wright State? Yeah, I, you know, it's been obviously a long, I'm, I'm sure it feels like a very long time for the players, just all the workouts and practices and things that we go through. And, and you know, we're, we're all tired of just practicing at this point. And, and I think even the coaches, you know, we're, we're all ready to get going and have some things that we can take on film and look at and work on instead of just doing the same things over and over, which is kind of where we are at this point. Um, didn't you tell me one time you appreciated how the administration doesn't have you doing a lot of bye games, one-way games? Is that does that ring a bell at all? Like you're doing a lot of home and homes, which yeah, we don't. Uh, yeah. you know, uh, they, they don't make us go get a certain amount of money. I think which most people at our level don't really have that option now. We, you know, we want we want to play some of those games and, yeah. and the right ones at the right times. Uh, and, and so, for us, the the money is just kind of a, a, an extra thing, but we're not playing them for the money. Yeah, that's nice. Like Louisville, you'd want to play. Not, you know, I mean, our, it's you know, our, game. Yeah, our players want to play in games like that. Yeah. And, and uh, certainly, we don't want to just take them. Somebody asked me last year, you know, why would you play the Purdue game? And well, one, we're we're not playing it thinking we're going to get. Beat that badly. Right. I mean, right. we're, we're we're trying to compete, and uh, you know, Purdue wants to play us because they think we're probably going to be a pretty good team that'll give them a test. You know, and it, it obviously didn't work out that way. But we certainly don't go into the game thinking we're just going to play these games for the money and just take a beating. That's not the way we think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so you're, I'm jumping ahead of game. I know. Purdue didn't work out like you'd hoped. Arizona, you were competitive. Is that just improvement over the season? How much better you guys got? Oh well, yeah. I mean, we were a lot different team at the yeah. end than we were in the beginning. Yeah. And uh, you know, we we were people. I mean, it feels like it was so long ago, but that that was the beginning of the season without Loudon and us trying to figure out who we were without Loudon after four years. And yeah. so we didn't have any idea who we were. And I think even as a coaching staff, we didn't. And then we saw. Um, and, and so, yeah, from you, you look at our team from the beginning to the end, there wasn't there wasn't a lot of difference. Where I think if you look at Purdue from the beginning to the end, 
or excuse me, for us, there was a big difference. I think for Purdue, there wasn't a big difference from the beginning to the end. They, yeah. they were a pretty experienced team, yeah. same players. They were good when the season started, and they were yeah. good at the end. So you, you, you're committing to starting the two bigs? Is that what you just, you're just ready to tell us now? Or oh, I, you're just not going to? Uh, you know, I, we, we'll probably play small quite a bit. Okay. Uh, and so there'll be challenges with that. But okay. I think for other teams, there'll be challenges too, trying to guard us. The way you guys are starting out, Davison at Louisville, mm -hmm. you like that uh, run off the bat, two tough teams? Oh, yeah, for sure. I think it, uh, it's going to test us. You know, we need a, a good test. You know, we got a new team, you know, to see where we're at. Uh, we got a good experience, so I think it'll be a good two games for us, a good, good test. In the years past, you got to ease into the schedule a little bit, play mm -hmm. Cedarville or Defiance or mm -hmm. somebody. No easing in this year. Oh, no. And I think that's good for us. You know, I think we need a good test, like I said. We need a good competition, you know, to see where we're at. Uh, you missed one of the scrimmages. Mm -hmm. Everything okay now? Yeah, I'm all good now. I'm 100% now. Just okay. A little back problems, but I'm good okay. now. It was a back? Yeah, lower back. Just a little back problems. That's like me, an old man. <laughs> you shouldn't have lower back problems. No, I'm getting older. Yeah. <laughs> For you guys, though, is there a certain challenge or excitement about playing a team that you guys have never played before in, in the program? I mean, excitement for, for sure. Uh, uh, Davidson, you know, it's a top team, you know, Steph Curry right there, you know, so there's going to be a lot of fans there. And, you know, we're not expected to win probably, but I think we can. I think it'll be a good challenge for us. Obviously, there's, you know, excitement all season long in preparation for it, but now that you guys are just a couple of days away, does it, is it starting to set in, at, at least with the guys in the locker room, that you guys are like, you know, hey, the, the buzz is finally mm -hmm. really turning oh, yeah, up all the way? the excitement, you know, just you see in practice today, you know, we were all turned up on a Monday, so, you know, the season's here and we're ready for it. What are you guys most looking forward to about this in, this matchup in particular in terms of what you've been preparing for, what you've seen from them? Um, at, well, first, we, we're uh, happy to play at home, you know, in front of our fans. You know, we got a new team, so they're happy to play at home. Uh, and just, like I said, it's a good challenge for us, you know, to start the year, so, yeah. How do you feel about starting right out with Davidson, who won the Atlantic 10, Louisville, traditional power? Yeah, no, I'm excited. I think it's good to come out and have a good test from the jump. And, uh, you know, two NCAA tournament teams now. Yeah. I think it'll be um, fun for the fans to watch, but also fun for us to play in. So, yeah, we're looking forward to it. You faced a similar caliber team as Louisville last year twice. Purdue, which yeah. didn't work out so well. Arizona, who you really played well. Um, what was the difference in those two? By the end of the season, you were ready for, for that. Yeah, well, I think early on last season, it was more so just trying to figure out how we want to play together which sometimes it takes longer for other teams. Um, but for us this year, I think we've, we've had, like me and Trey have played together for a long time. So yeah. little things like that, um, we've kind of sorted out in practice. So mm -hmm. I think we'll be maybe a little better off this year going into it. But yeah. nonetheless, every team has stuff, to, things to sort out. So I think it'll, that'll be the case a little bit, but everybody will be going through that. Yeah. Obviously you guys haven't gotten to see this team yet. I guess what, what have you looked at in terms of film uh, keys to success in your guys' mind for, for the home opener? Yeah, well, they have a lot of new guys as well. So um, we watched their film on where they were previously, but they also have some good returners. So, you know, they have really good pace off um, off their action, and, and they come off screens really well. So we'll be moving constantly in defense. But, um, you know, I think if we can play good defense and then we can obviously just play offense like we have in the past, I think, you know, we'll have a good shot. We'll be right there the whole game. Do you feel like... You know, once you guys first start, you know, those first few plays, getting kind of, you know, the little jitters out of, you know, that opening, do you feel like once it kind of sets in for you guys, you really feel like you find that rhythm and that chemistry that you guys are building here all summer? Yeah, absolutely. It's always like that. And that's honestly why the two scrimmages that we've had are good because that's, you know, we really feel that, especially the first scrimmage. So um, hopefully that's gotten most of them out. But, you know, there'll always, obviously be a little bit there still. So, yeah, that first media, once that comes, you know, then we can settle in a little bit.